was supposed to go to their church. Now she's once again publicly asking for money and living a life of travel and leisure while victims remain unpaid. Among the passengers boarding this cruise ship in San Diego is Mary Manon Morrissey. Because of security, we couldn't get close enough to talk to Morrissey before she headed out for a week on the Mexican Riviera. She's the former leader of the Living Enrichment Center, who had a following around the world from her 95-acre Wilsonville campus. Well, tonight we have people watching not only around the United States, but from Switzerland, the Netherlands, Germany, Canada, Australia, Jamaica, and the United Kingdom. Right now, right now. Morrissey and her former husband. Amazing! Amazing! Spent millions of dollars loaned to the church on themselves and on failed business ventures. In 2005, her husband went to prison for money laundering. But Mary Manon Morrissey was never charged with a crime. A federal prosecutor says it was part of this plea bargain agreement with her ex-husband. He agreed to plead guilty to money laundering on the condition his wife would not be charged with a crime, a point that still frustrates victims. Mary would make the appeal, and uh, then, you know, they'd... And she'd actually sign the notes. Tom H. has one of the largest stakes in the failed church. I made several loans. The la this, this quarter of a million was the last one. A total of $650,000 in loans. Part of almost $11 million that may never be repaid to dozens of people. Mary is a very bright person. She's very capable, skilled. At one time, Steve Sanders was one of Morrissey's biggest supporters. But I think that somewhere she lost lost the way. But he never understood how she avoided prison. It is difficult for me, for one person who had been active in this and, and had got to training here, to believe and see, seeing the planning and the work that she did, that, that she can be gullible and just... Uh, just oblivious to what's going on. What bothers both men most, though, is that Morrissey is now running a new church and giving others advice on how to operate their lives. She teaches participants of spirituality workshops on cruise ships, sometimes several trips each year. And she operates her church Life Solutions website and Evolving Life Ministries, a virtual church online where Morrissey asks for contributions. And a live church in Lake Oswego. That's where we finally found her. Hi, Ms. Morrissey. I'm Tom Jensen with K2 News. And uh, we got, we've been getting calls from some of your former congregants um, concerned that you're again publicly asking for money for outside her Tuesday night service, currently being held in this office building. Aren't these legitimate concerns, ma'am? Because, I, I mean, it's awesome. some of these people gave all of their money, and then they see you traveling around the world to all these locations, and it's kind of a slap in their face, isn't it? No, I'm repaying. My, my main agreement to repay everybody who loaned money to Living Enrichment Center. My work in the world is an efforting to repay people. And in her 2005 bankruptcy case, Morrissey was permanently prohibited from holding the position of officer, financial manager, or financial fiduciary for any charitable or religious nonprofit entity. Morrissey says she's following those rules. Her current church operates as a for-profit business, according to the state. I am not diverting that income. The state has complete access to every account. It's completely open. Morrissey won't talk specifically about her finances, but we track down where the Internet contributions go. They're sent to this UPS store on Barber Boulevard to a post box controlled by Morrissey. State investigators tell K2 they want to make sure Morrissey is not diverting income because a portion of her pay is supposed to go into an account for victims. So far, there is $74,000 in the account. The Morrisseys owe... $10.7 million. I'm outraged by, after everything that's happened, to what I learned in the last couple of weeks, that that she's uh, still making a, a lot of money. And As we continue to press Morrissey on her finances and traveling, she withdraws her invitation to attend her church service. We're just trying to get questions from people who are concerned about, Step out. about what happened. Step out. Just go ahead. It's okay. And while her victims remain unpaid, Morrissey continues to travel. She plans another cruise later this year and a trip to India in February.
more that she won't talk about. You know what? In a different way, I would be happy to talk to you. Okay. But, yeah. When so, can we do that? We can do it. You have to contact the I'll people or agents. So far, Morrissey has not called or returned calls. Her ex-husband has declined to comment for our story, but state officials say it appears 